So good morning everybody. So I would like to share my past experience of water supply which will prove that we are KDMC is uh, well equipped and competent enough to be a smart city. So 15-16 years back when I took a water supply charge of water supply that was the prime concern of the city. There was a shortage of water KDMC used to get twice the more charge on a week. Uh, there's a lot of havoc. When I took over, I studied. So why the more charge are coming? Why the water scarcity is there? So the reason was that even having ample water, <coughs> we are fortunate enough to have a high rainfall area. So we had about more than 135 LPCD water to every citizen. That to net, it is not a gross at 135 LPCD. Uh, the gross we were receiving 160, 170. Then one thing we have noticed, then Commissioner and myself, what we were noticing, that we were not charging the consumers on the meter basis. We were char charging the consumers on lump sum basis, family basis. So there was ample water in few area and there was scarcity in some area. So the people, those who were receiving ample water, they used to say that the water is not there for us. If one day they are not getting water, they were complaining. Though they were receiving 200 LPCD, 250 LPCD, then also there were complaints. And the scarcity people, they used to come to us and say that you give us bare minimum water. So it was very difficult to make a zoning and divert the ample water zone to the scarcity zone. Then we thought of that we will uh, introduce the metering system. So we studied all ULBs nearby KDMC and in Maharashtra. Some places metering system existed, but it was not functioning properly. Uh, even MCGM, uh, which is the oldest corporation, there also the metering system existed, but it was not properly built as per the meter. Then our politicians were reluctant to reintroduce the metering system, saying that our experience of metering is not good, uh, meters are not working, uh, we don't have a good meters. Then we had deliberated this issue with commissioners and some technical experts. Then we have decided that we will go with the metering with our ULB's responsibility. We will, we will take the responsibility of functioning of meter and we have conceived one project uh, for outsourcing of entire metering system, which includes the even installation of meter on consumer connect, um, connections. Consumer were said that you will not get any botheration. We will not charge you extra. We will install on from our KDMC revenue. We will not increase the tariff for the meter also. We have convinced our politicians, whole lot of deliberation took place six months, one year. Now, ultimately, partially politician accepted that key. You can introduce metering where the high income group people are staying. You can introduce metering to the meter. Please don't force the consumers, those who are staying in slums and jolts. So then commissioner and myself, we decided, okay, we'll go with the high income group partial uh, implementation. We have uh, floated the tender and we have decided that we will not buy any meter which is manufactured in India. So the quality of meter were not good. Then we have decided to purchase ISO EEC meters, magnetically coupled multi-jet meters from the Italy. Then when we floated tender there were a lot of complaints, complaints to the chief minister, then chief minister of Maharashtra that they are not favoring Indian entrepreneur, they are um, uh, introducing the foreign product so then also my commissioner was determined and uh, he decided that it is our decision. We are going to install. Government is not giving money to us. KDMC is paying and it is our responsibility. We have assured the general board that the meters will function. We have introduced the metering system with total outsourcing, installation of meter, maintenance of meter, taking reading of meter. Only recovery was kept with KDMC. So the impact of that with available tariff we could increase our revenue by 8 crore 15 years back i'm talking in 2002 we are pioneer in e-governance and simultaneously we are pioneer in successful meter system also so 
we have got the revenue seven eight crore but that was not a concern for us so what was the concern the consumption of the citizens came down so we had a float of 15 to 20 mld water to divert that water to the scarcity area immediately after installing the meters the water scarcity problem over complaints of shortage of water uh, were stopped then the complaint from this high scarcity area started coming we are getting higher bill our bills are faulty so we have dealt with that also uh, there were some problems with the e-governance and metering simultaneously we have overcome that and i'm proud to say that in from 2002 to 2016 the same meters which we have installed about 25000 meters are still functioning properly and we are recovering the water uh, water this the uh, water revenue and now we have matched the water revenue exp water expenditure and water income uh, from the water bills so this was a good experience now we have uh, under the jnrm reforms it was mandatory to all jnrm city to have 100 percent metering we have completed that also we have just started implementing the water bill with 100 percent metering so this uh, this task we have complete completed under the present commissioner's tenure our next target is to have a realistic water audit which we are going to start from next month uh, the hundred percent water audit so so that we will come to know how much water is being properly utilized in the city and how much water is being wasted so that we can plan the blocking of leakages improving our efficiency so wherever you are going for the smart city initially when we consulted the citizens citizens were asking that we want good water good sanitation good roads so water is one important factor and kdmc's consultation survey showed that people have not given priority to water because they are now having ample water so as sir has explained the singapore system and the tel aviv system uh, I think it will take years together for us to go there because we have got a good natural resources. The people of Mumbai has this year realized, unfortunately, there is a less water, uh, but Mumbai has got good resources. Then also they have had a pinch, bit pinch of water and people will start using optimum use, of, making optimum use of water. There was one concept which is being uh, discuss whole JNRM is 24 by 7. So Nagpur has implemented, Honorable Chief Minister yesterday said that they are implemented as a pilot project with PPP model. Uh, making 24 by 7 in this area is a bit difficult than the cities which have grown horizontally. Our, our cities have grown vertically. They have got their own water systems, uh, water supply system. So to design the system is a big challenge to provide 24 by 7 but it can be achieved with the same quantity if we go for the telescopic tariff uh, if telescopic tariff is implemented i think in available network available system kdmc can become smart in water utilization uh, continuously rigorously we are following with our general board to uh, allow us to make implement telescopic tariff so we are still yet to get the permission i hope that in present tenure commissioner's tenure will get it under the smart city scheme and this will help us for making cities smart in respect of the water supply that's all thank you so very good um, sharing of experience from mr kulkarni uh, regarding how the water metering and how water supply systems are strengthened in kdmc and how they are going towards the 24 into 7. Maybe it takes three years or five years, but still they are uh, going towards the uh, 24 into 7 water supply systems. With this, actually, I think if any questions from audience, the panel is ready to take. The floor is open for the question and answers. Any questions, yeah. sir? <clears throat> if there is no questions, we are... Sir, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, usually, uh, in smart cities, uh, efficient water supply system is the most important thing. 
but uh, what I observe is most of the times uh, the revenue, it's a good revenue generator for a city, but most of the old cities, we see uh, around 30 to 40 percent of water supplied goes through leakages. What are the latest uh, solutions that have come up for a smart cities? And uh, even the old cities are being taken up uh, to rebuild as a smart city. <clears throat> so any smart solutions that have come up for the water leakages where 30 to 40 percent of water goes uh, through leakages, wastage? That's a good question. It's a common phenomenon. Uh, everybody talks there is a wastage of 30 to 40 percent. Uh, I say that ki this 30 40 percent figure is tentatively arrived. Every city talks 30 to 40 percent. I don't uh, believe on that. See, maybe it is more than 40 percent also, or maybe it is less than 20 percent also. The thing is that to arrive at the exact figure, we need to measure the water at source and at in ultimate end, tapping end, consumer end. So unless and until you have that system, you will not be able to know what thing has to be done, what implementation is required for reducing the losses and bringing system strengthen, with be it be a old city or a new city. So that's, that's the reason KDMC has decided to go for the 100% metering, be it be in Chal or uh, Chal, uh, this uh, slums or in a, a high uh, income group area. So once you do it, you should have a proper auditing. There are, there are method of audits. The all audits carried out in uh, cities is a inference drawn from their survey, their study that they are doing sample auditing. By sample auditing, you will not come to know exact losses. It is again a tentative losses. Unless and until you come the exact losses, in which lane you are losing the water, you are not going to plug that leakage. So for doing that, the consumer should be made aware that he has to keep the meter like electricity bills. I think 10 years back, the electricity was also like this. No meters, the meters were faulty, they were deliberately tampered. Now electricity meters are very smart meter. In water also smart meters have come. People are made aware there's heavy penalty, heavy um, uh, punishment for theft of electricity. So same thing if we start implementing in water supply, definitely these losses will reduce and we will use the natural resources to the optimum. Okay, thank you sir.